everyone today i'm doing something different i'm not showing my face as an intro because i want to just dive into our workshop very quick because i have to show you a lot of things and i didn't want to lose any time so today we are talking about colored pencils and painting or drawing skin with them so i have three different types of skin colors here I want to talk to you about and um, of course I need to show you my colored pencil sets I have two sets one is Prismacolor and the other one is Karandash you can have different ones you can have Faber Castell you can have Lyra you can have these different types of um, pencils which is fine because they have very similar colors in every different kind of brand sets so the most important thing is not the name of the color name of the brand but just what the color looks like okay so these are my Karandash uh, set uh, you can see here and they are very expensive sets but honestly i really really enjoy drawing with them uh, they have a very thick very strong core they hardly break ever and um they their quality is pretty high especially the white and buff titanium are golden um i have the set of 76 these are why am i having these kind of options like one two three four here is because um I did this so I have these color scales for different kind of things I will explain now what they are so these are kind of lighter shades um, I would say the base color of your skin and uh, the medium type of like um, colors that you can actually do some uh, shadows which are not very very um, dark here this is i think yes this is the set that i used and then i have this set which is the darker shadows for darker skin tones such as this or you can actually use some of these colors to do the some areas that are in shadow and then comes of course so this was that and then i have this which is the lip colors and the lip colors are right here you can have different kinds of lip colors and I have grays we use grays in different areas um, such as mm, eyes white of the eye and also some other shadows that we create we use gray a lot and if you have gray hair or gray beard for example of course you use gray as well so this is why I divided them into four like this. And for Prismacolor, again, I have a bigger set. I have a set of 150 for Prismacolor. That's why I have a bigger selection. That's the only reason. So I have this, again, the lighter tones. You can see that there's a wider selection here and a middle tones. And I have darker tones for Prismacolor and here i have the lip colors right here and then i have all the grays it's such a wonderful selection of grays it's unbelievable almost and they are all here these are all grays i even have a violet gray so why did i do this because i want to show you today how i decide on my colors when i'm drawing my portraits and then for the next week, I'm going to do this one with you, explaining uh, how I chose which color to use where and why. But today I'm going to explain all of them and we're going to decide on the colors and I'm going to write as a note right here. So I want to use uh, mostly Prismacolor because a lot of people have more like uh, Prismacolor rather than Karandash. Uh, but also I will show one example, one of these from Karandash as well. Let's start from Jennifer Hudson. So Jennifer Hudson has this beautiful skin. I'm sorry, it's, it's a little bit shiny, I know. But I'm going to zoom in to show you how I decided on my colors. So let me remove these other faces first. 
So we have only her. Okay, beautiful. So for in order to start, before you start your portrait, you have to look at the skin in a different way. When you look at this, you shouldn't only see one color or two colors. There are at least 10 different colors right here. And how are you going to decide that is a very important thing because our eyes are tuned to fix mistakes or, um, you know, unify some color tones. I see some darker tones here, so I'm just going to grab first uh, my uh, darker tone scale. So the first one is, let's start from the lighter tones. I see this lighter tone here and here and here. So these lighter tones can be one of these, right? What I'm going to do is basically I am sliding my chart to see which color is closest to that color and mind you these are some colors that i created with a lot of pressure so if you decrease your pressure on your pencil then you're going to get different tones a lighter tone so this light tone i feel like is light peach it's very close to light peach so once i decide on that color I take a note here. So I'm just going to say Jennifer Hudson, light peach. So the first color is light peach. And then you can also, um, you know, add some yellow to it or add some white to get it even lighter. And that's also very similar to that color okay and then I see some kind of uh, another brown uh, orangey tone right here I'm just going to try to find so nectar is actually pretty close let me see so I kind of again like a peachy color Nectar. Yeah, these are. Yeah, so for this dark part, I think terracotta is not a bad color at all. So I'm just gonna write terracotta as well. I don't know if you see what I see. I'm gonna come to dark ones anyway in a second. So what's the general color here? Do we have it right here? Let's see. I see some nectar too, so I'm just gonna put some nectar. Do you see? I think it's very similar. Um. So for here, for example, I don't have an exact exact match. Sometimes you might have to mix two or three different colors. Let me get the dark one here. So. She has more warm tones than cold tones so burnt ochre might be a better option and together with I think nectar if we combine then we can have a very good result there so what I'm going to write here is also burnt ochre. So for the darker parts, I am saying um, 
more like a henna or chestnut actually very look at this how actually they are very close when you look at this color and this color so I'm going to write chestnut and then at the very dark places I almost see because it's shining to me too guys sorry um, dark umber or black raspberry both of them are good actually I think black raspberry is a better option here so I'm gonna write that one too because there's like a kind of reddish tone to it as well then I see a different tone here than here I don't know if you see it let's see it's like I want to say sienna brown but yeah I think it's terracotta again so it's fine yeah so here though so you can see above the eye it looks like black but I don't think it's black never use that black uh, color right like that because that might kind of make it too flat look so this is black but this is not black when you actually look uh, put right next to each other you can see the difference so I would say more like either espresso dark umber Let's see I would say dark umber so I'm going to use dark umber and then to remember I say eyes for the lips let's look at the lips you can see beautiful lip color right there so these are the lip colors that I kind of prepare prepare pre-prepared so when I look at those we do see some pink right okay and not hot pink obviously but I do see some pink and I think for the shadows like these areas I see mahogany red Raspberry is too too dark. So I'm just gonna use these pink and I can use so the lips, let's say. I say pink and mahogany red. But then I also see look at this. For this part I have clay rose and clay rose also could be see or let's look at these pinks I think rosy beige might be even closer again some peachy color on the lip lips as well nectar look at the lips I think it's nectar so I'm gonna just cross pink and I'm gonna just say nectar no I'm not gonna cross pink actually because I think some really light areas right here might need some uh, pink but for that I think instead of this pink I think blush pink is better or deco peach I think blush pink is better so I'm just gonna write blush pink for the eyes so you remember I keep saying we never use white for the eyes the eyes are actually kind of reflecting what's outside so they should look gray we weren't lying because I mean when you put right next to the eye look this is white is it as white as you see no so when we put our 
10% French gray, it is almost a match. Usually cool grays don't exist in the eye unless you have blue eyes and look, even 20% French gray for the darker ones is a good choice. Warm gray is also something that we use in the eyes. This is also a good match. This is too dark. So let's look at the other eye as well. Yeah, I think this is a great match. So for the eye, 10% French gray. It's very windy today. French gray. <clears throat> and then There's a reddish part here, and for that, probably whatever pink I'm using, I'm gonna use that. And for the for the shadowy areas, a little bit darker than 10% French gray is 20% French gray, so I'm gonna use that one too. So this is, hmm. So for, I feel like I have really good colors, but they don't have the orange tone and I see some oranges here. And for that shadow, I don't have exact color. Um, Burnt ochres had some kind of orange tones in it, I know, but it's very dark. For the lighter parts, in order to do some uh, shading on, a, on it, I usually use um, golden rod, like this color, although it is too bright looking right now if you apply very lightly then you should be all right so i'm just going to also here add golden rod okay and obviously we have black um color for the eye around the eye and the eyelashes it's dark umber and black mix of both Okay, so let's add black. We already have dark umber, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yes, okay. So, um, look at that. I didn't even do the hair yet because we are doing skin set study, face study mostly. So I have already, uh, we have gray in the teeth as well. So if you grab this chart again and then look next to the teeth, you're gonna get all these different kind of tones. Teenies are, teeth are smaller. So see, this is more closer to 10% warm gray. So I'm gonna do teeth, 10% warm gray. Okay, so look, this is just one face and I already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different colors. So do you need this many colors? No. But if you want to do it realistically, this is how we do it. And if you have them, why not use them, right? So this is only one face. Let's do other ones. Now, I try to choose different tones for you. This was a little bit darker skin. And now I will have this skin who has mostly a lighter tone. So it's mostly pinkish tones. So this is how I try to choose. The other one had more orange and brown tones. This has more pink and white and yellow tones. And this one you will see that has mostly orangey uh, tones, warmer tones. This is a little bit cooler than this, you can see, right? Um, so for this one, same mentality. First we look at and then try to see the different colors that we see. So definitely we see some shadows here and then there are some lines here that we have to work on. 
I see shadows here, the darkest parts, and the lips. Um, I see some shadow here. I see shadows here. And it's pretty bright in around here and here. So we have really bright colors in this one. So let's start with, um, do I need this right now? No. So I'm just gonna, not gonna use this one for a second. And get my lightest ones around here. So I'm looking like this. The lightest part is a little bit yellowish uh, tone, but the eggshell is too yellow. Do you see? So cream is much realistically closer to it, but I'm gonna kind of keep going and see what else I have here. See, even the lightest ones are too dark. So what does that mean? That, that means that you're just gonna lightly shade whatever tone here, and then you're gonna go over and burnish it with white or buff titanium, that's what it means. But the underneath color should be something like, I think it's more um, closer to cream in this case. I'm just looking at here. I'm just gonna write cream. I'm gonna t call this number two. Cream, um, and then of course we have this peachy color here. I would say this is light peach. Light peach, right? Yeah. Okay, and then it gets a little bit darker here so maybe I can look at if clay rose would be a good choice for these dark places or maybe even henna but before that let me take see nectar is definitely a very good match so I'm just gonna say nectar for the shadows and then this pink is more like deco peach, right? So just a little bit darker than that maybe. See, this is too light now. So not deco peach, not peach. Hmm. Maybe still light peach, but we just have to darken it up a little bit with probably nectar. So nectar, light peach um, mixture right there. Um, how about just a little bit of yellowish tone I see here and how we can add those yellows. Maybe with No, not that yellow, right? So I would say probably those yellows can be done with eggshell because eggshell, once if you don't use a lot of pressure, it might create some really nice yellow tones or you can actually use cream and burnish it with cream around here to make it uh, look like more yellow and then you go with white mostly around here to make it even whiter so i'm just going to use i'm just going to write eggshell for some places like this or like that but i might not use it it's better to write it down and take it out later than not write it down and i see some seashell pink as well Maybe just here, just there. Yeah, honestly, it's just there. <laughs> Seashell pink. Let's come to the lips, okay? So we have, no, not deco pink. Nope, not pink rose. 
Blush pink. Hmm. Not bad. Very close. Not rosy beige. Not nectar, not this time. It's too light. Mm -mm. Let's look at the other pinks. Not hot pink. Hmm, maybe. Uh uh. Hmm. Pomegranate. Carmine red. Interesting, right? So they're not exact matches, but you can see that. Uh, I don't know if you can see that from there, but the darkest parts right here. Let me zoom in if I can, but I know I, I don't want to lose the resolution. But you see these cracks here, like the lip lines, they are very close to this color here, mahogany red. So that's why I was trying to kind of... Uh, choose that color for the lips for the lips I think the base color is pink rose and blush pink and for the dark parts I'm going to use Mahogany red. Okay. And the eyes, I don't have the eye charts right now, but for the white of the eye, again, I think 10% French gray is good. Um, it's pretty bright, but then look, there's the dark part here. So what are we gonna do this dark part? looks like seventy percent French gray so I'm gonna use ten percent French gray seventy percent French gray or the dark parts even the eye like even though it's blue it's grayish blue so you can actually use cool gray for the eye or um, here cool gray you can use it and I think for the eyebrows and uh, eyelashes we could use definitely black or warm gray this is actually dark umber so dark umber I never sound of warm gray and black um so look at this area so what is this going to be? Is it black? I mean, part of it, yes, but not all of it. There is redness to it. So if I go and compare, I think it's more black raspberry or chestnut than black. So I'm gonna write chestnut and black raspberry for the nose and I'm gonna say um, nostrils see I have again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 again for this much photo right here so you see this is how we do it and finally I want to show you other other set as well and this is what we will be drawing next week why I chose this I also want to explain 
so I chose this because it has you know the wrinkles here it, is, it has an expression you know the wrinkles here and here so I feel like it is important to learn how to do those and it involves eyes and some of the eyebrows some of the lips and different types of colors right here so I thought this would be more useful for you than the other ones so now let me start with my so I'm gonna do with two sets both sets that so that you will understand it doesn't really matter which set you are using so let's see number three um, so you can see the brightest part right so for the brightest part I'm going again I think it's cream but then I see a lot of eggshell here too see so I'm gonna say cream for the lightest part eggshell also this is a and I see some beige but it's uh -huh. some beige So here it's pretty red. Uh, I don't know if you see it. It's uh, trying to see if nectar would do it or would henna be too much? Let's compare. Yeah, I think. I would use nectar for this but if it doesn't give so it doesn't give this much redness to it then I'm gonna use henna so henna plus nectar nose I'm gonna understand this because the same tone is right here right so um, so henna is close and I have other red here but these reds are mostly better made. Uh, so crimson lake is not bad crimson lake would be also another option so let's continue with the skin so I have more red tones here and more like yellow tones here I hope you see that too um, so here which what kind of red do we have? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's look at it here. More like Tuscan red, right? Or henna. I will just go with henna and give this more crimson lake effect there. So here is, I see a pinkish color. And I would use clear rose or Rosy beige, that's the side. Hmm. Maybe nectar again. You're right. Nectar. I pink. Look, this is what I'm trying to do. I think nectar is the best match here. Mm. And then there are browns. So here, do you see these browns? what browns yep dark umber dark umber for the shadows so i see some some dark brown 
here in the shadows. And um, here, it's an interesting color, I know. This is a very common color that we use for uh, this kind of shadows. I would say this is either sandbar brown, I know it looks really green, uh, or light umber. I think I'm gonna go with light umber for now. See, that's what I was trying to do. And then this is cream or eggshell, I can already see it. I see some orangey tones right here, so let's see if I see, again, kind of a golden rod or any other color. So the See, it's too yellowish for peach. This is obviously not. Um, some maybe nectar colors, but I'm trying to find this yellowish tone here. But then eggshell is too bright and beige is too bright as well. So what we can do, that means we're gonna mix two colors again. So I think again, either yellow ochre or golden rod, um, would be a good color to to give this orangey tone to us if eggshell is too bright even sand is too much i think this is eggshell definitely but when it gets darker it's a little bit more beige but we need a little bit more red tone in it that's why I would say consider golden rod. We will see while we're drawing. If you don't like it, we can change it. And then the lips, of course. This lip is lipstick, so definitely we will have this one of the very bright colors. Hmm. I think crimson red or scarlet lake seems like hmm so for the bright part I see carmine red okay but then but then for the darker part I see more scarlet lake or crimson red, I couldn't say. Both, I think. So for darker parts, these are too close to each other. Okay, let me see. Let's look at closer. Which one would you choose? I think I'm gonna use scarlet lake. Scarlet lake. Scarlet Lake, it is. Eyes. For eyes, there are some pinkish colors, do you see? For those, probably we are supposed to use some kind of pink, but it looks it needs to look natural. I know it is um yeah, it's nectar. So do you see the nectar colors? Definitely it's going to be that. For the white of the eye, again 10% French gray, and for the darker part, oh it's darker than that, mm -hmm. I think it's 30% French gray, or 50%, let me see that one too. 
no, I think 30%, 10% French gray, oops, sorry guys, and 30% French gray, we already have nectar, okay, seems like, and for these shadows, um, I usually use uh, what we use for general uh, shadow color. And I'm looking at it here and I see dark umber. If it's too dark, I can use dark brown for these. Uh, kind of uh, wrinkle effect we will do together. Okay, so with the same picture, I want to do Karandash as well. And you see the differences if really sets uh, make difference or not. Okay. It's the same one, but with Karandash this time. Let's look at the... So buff titanium is a hint of cream in a white. So probably we're going to be doing this uh, with buff titanium right here. The tip of the nose, tip of the mm, cheek. Primer rose is pretty yellow. So I would assume maybe. I think Naples ochre is more. Naples ochre. Buff titanium would be a good choice. Brown ochre 10%. I see it right here. I don't see olive brown maybe here. No. Burnt ochre 10%. So it's it's very peachy color as you can see trying to Yeah, maybe here I see actually burnt ochre ten percent. Can let's see brown ochre fifty percent. Do I see or oh, burnt sienna ten percent? Do I see it anywhere? I think this is close, but if I don't see any pink, I'm gonna use burnt sienna ten percent for. pink area. I see burnt sienna 50%. It's too dark, isn't it? So I'm just going to use burnt sienna 10% for the pink areas. See, we couldn't find that exact match, but I see it here. Brown ochre 50% is that orangey tone that we were looking for. So I'm just going, I'm, I'm happy I found it in the Karandash set. Raw Sienna, I don't see it here. Uh, burnt ochre 50%, I think might be close to here or here. Look, burnt ochre 50%. And if you add a little bit more pinkish color on it, then it's going to be perfect. So, sepia mm, 10%. We might come to that later. So let's look at the shadows on Karandash set. There's not many options. So, burnt sienna. I see burnt sienna here. I don't see burnt ochre. And do we see sepia? Sepia is here, guys. Do you see this um, line, the eye line? It's going to be sepia. And if you look at closely to this, it's not black, it's sepia. So yeah, we have sepia. 
and you might use some burnt sienna here as well I'm gonna do these with sepia as well I wonder if we can use some this anthraconcid pink this one I'm just gonna write just in case let's come to the lips I think Scarlet is the best. Um, and for, I think for this lighter parts, I can add, hmm. maybe add some white. Um, There's some kind of pink tone to it, and I don't see any really pinkish red. That's kind of worries me. Uh, but I think Scarlet looks like the best option here. Hmm. And these kind of shadows I always use. Um row umber 50% nice white of the eye white of the eye look this paper is white do you think it's white no so. french gray 10% my french gray 10% in my karandash set is much darker uh, you can tell but if you apply less amount or you mix it with white then it's gonna have lighter tone of course so i'm going to use french gray 10 percent and for this tone french gray 30 percent okay very nice so I think it's good. I know in what ways, where I'm going to use. I can now see myself like more comfortable with my colors. At least I know um, which parts are going to be what color. And <clears throat> if I change my mind along the way, which is very possible, it's okay. We can do it. Again, we ended up here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 colors. Even though I had the smaller set in Karandash, they have really good uh, color selection in terms of portraits. So I never had problems with Karandash sets before. Next week, I am going to draw this to you and then I will explain step by step how I decided on that and why I colored that that color and what else we could do there and such so until then I'll see you later thanks for watching my video if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe and for my real-time narrated tutorials visit my patreon patreon.com slash stay with art and love